I'm about to teach you how to use the designer app. Look at this beautiful stuff. This is what we are creating for this project. So I do it again. So I take the blank, okay, create a blank. I like to create a blank. There are many samples, there are many templates out there on the app that you can use. Don't forget, you need to have your internet active for you to use this app, this designer app, okay? So, I have the blank box. I like to use maybe Instagram setting because Instagram, you know, you need to post squares on Instagram and you can post squares on all other social platforms. Basically, this is for you if you need to, to post your to do some little little marketing on social media and um you don't necessarily have to pay a graphic designer to do this for you all right little dps and here and there you don't need graphic designers to do that for you i'm a graphic designer but i know that simple things like this should be able to do by yourself using the designer app designer is spelled d e s y g n e r so this is the this is the page so all right now you use this plus button this blue plus button to uh, if you want text if you want image or you want some elements let's start with the image let's start with the image you can have images this will load images from your phone but let us search online and i say do not do not forgive me do not okay and i say search there you go so many donuts will show up for use but i'm looking for something that gives me a dark background so I use this one. This is what I used as well in the existing design that I have made. So we're using this. I'm making it for my friend who is a chef. She makes beautiful donuts. Her name is Kome. But then all of you will benefit from this as well. So you can use it. You can use the same principles. So I, will, uh, I prefer that... Um, you understand something called uh, uh, you understand a particular principle we use in design called a contrast so I use dark background and I put bright element text whatever on it or I use a bright background and I put dark element or text on it so the next thing I want to put now is the text so I put a heading headers usually are bigger so I drag it up here and I double click with my fingers. Don't forget I'm doing this with a mobile phone. I double click with my fingers and I type um, get beautiful donuts. Donuts. And I click out of here. It's still black, so I would like to make it uh, so the font. We can change the font as well by clicking there. I used a beautiful font the other time. I don't even remember. So let's do. Let's just use any beautiful font. So I use that, and then I click out. I click on it again, and I choose white, and then suddenly it is visible get beautiful donut okay so she sent, sent me some text as well so i've copied it from whatsapp already and um, add body text i double click into it yeah so i highlight all of this and i delete or i can just use the delete button it's your choice then i paste this is what she sent to me okay so i can make it I can reduce the size of the font by clicking using this circle on the top 
I mean top corner, top corner either, either left or right. And then I can change my font as well to whatever I please. Lato is good for me. I like Lato. Like this. But you notice it's not still visible. I can change the text to white. If some some parts of the white text are blending already with the background. So what do I need? I create a simple box with a background. I go to elements. Uh, go to shapes and I get this box shape out there you will notice that it has gone on top of everything because in design there is something called layers layers okay so but there is no cost for alarm just click on this text and then come here layer order I say bring to front so bring to front it's at the front or front of everything already but it's still not looking beautiful make sure you try and centralize your text both vertically and horizontally on this okay yeah looking quite good I think we should just um, make our text central right we can centralize it the text alignment centralize the text alignment and then you see i'm sure you've seen something like this before okay so select the box and then the fill color i'm just confirmed that it's still recording yes it is so i change my color to red oh it's so beautiful but i've covered most of everything you can't see those beautiful things like anymore but not to worry let's just quickly hack it up all right so the first thing I want to do, I think, I don't know, for me, the text are still quite large. So I come here, bring this, bring this so that it appears centralized on the top and on the sides. And then I click my red box again and I add and I reduce some opacity or I add some transparency. So drag this blue until you're satisfied. You keep dragging it. You can see you can now see those um in the center exactly it looks quite beautiful right now doesn't it everything you want to see is visible and then i export it i save and export save and export then i download download as jpeg png i love png a lot i can't explain why and there you go save and return to my beautiful right okay so this is it use what you have for what you have is enough this is what i made earlier with the same app and this is what i made now so choose a choice thank you so my name is ayo dj badon i am sure that um you know I'm a graphic designer, I'm a printer, I'm a web designer, and I'm a digital marketer. I'm a business teacher as well. I have a book called Shift. Thank you for watching this. Bye, bye, bye.